hope you've had a lovely visit so far um, and have enjoyed the day so far. I am joined by Rory Matheson, who you might know from Farah. <laughs> and Graeme Rory, who you might know from NOS. <laughs> so that first song there was a song that was originally written by Richard Thompson of Fairport Convention. Now, apparently, according to Wikipedia, Richard wrote this after reading the Aberdeenshire novel Lewis Grassic Gibbon's Sunset Song, which is set in Aberdeenshire, not too far from where we're at today. Well, a little bit far, but not too far. Um, and he wrote this after reading it, and it was all too fitting to translate the song that he wrote in English back into the Doric dialect of the Scots language. So moving on, I'm going to sing a song that I wrote about two rivers in Huntley. Now, we are kind of north of Inverness, but I'm from an area south uh, east from here, but northeast in Scotland. And um, Basically, I usually just sing other people's songs or traditional songs. So I thought I would take a stab at writing a song in the Scots language. And um, basically, the waters meet. That's what this song is called. There's two waters in the town. One is called the Devron. One is called the Bogey. And uh, with them, we have a whiskey uh, in the Speyside Trail, which you might have tasted already. But um, this song is about returning home and um, the place where the waters meet is a place that my dad would take me as a child to, you know, whatever. And then a place that I would go and drink as a teenager. So it means, means a lot to me, this little area. <laughs> so the waters meet. Drink my coffee and you cross my mind 
as I walk these streets But you'll meet me where the waters meet Meet me where the big wheels stood While we drunk all our childhood Name your need to be discreet Can you meet me where the waters It's hard to feel unwelcome back again For no idea to his spinning, ring and ring Oh, I feel the karma, the hear back, the drama See, take a seat and count on me To think on you wherever I'll be We'll sit you till we lose When you meet me where the waters meet And when it's time to paint again I'll kiss you like you kissed me then Forgive me as I leave these streets But we'll meet in me why the waters meet? So we're going to carry on and Graham is going to change instruments. I didn't realise um, the boys really did not get the memo about the flowery jumpsuits. Uh, and I didn't get the memo that the venue was red and that I pretty much join into the walls. Um, so yeah, a lot of the, um, the songs that were sung in the day, well pretty much most of them, are in the Scots language. And um, last night you were treated to Breebach, which is an amazing band, and they sing in English, Scots, and Gaelic. And we have three national languages in Scotland, English, Scots, and Gaelic. And with over 1.5 million speakers of Scots, somehow it's not legally recognised as a language yet, like Welsh and Gaelic and Manx. So uh, part of my work is to get it recognised as a language. Um, and this next song is no exception. It was written in 1998 by Davy Steele in Ahead of Devolution taking place in Scotland. And I think it's a beautiful wee song called Scotland Yet. At least it's not a banjo. Start 
So as Lisa said earlier on, I'm super passionate about the Scots language and um, last year 
we had a bit of a, a kind of landmark uh, win and Spotify finally added the Scots language to its platform. Because in the back end of Spotify, for musicians, we can go in and we can categorise what language your songs are classed as. And when I get on, I found that all of my songs, despite being in a Scots language, had been classed in English. Um, you could choose any sort of UK minority language, like Manx, Gaelic, um, Irish Gaelic, Welsh, Cornish, amazing. But Scots was not listed there. So finally it got listed and I was delighted. And off the back of that, a little browser called Firefox decided that they would invest in the Scots language. And now you can download Firefox onto your laptop and stravig the internet in Scots. And I think that's amazing because for our next generation of young singers, speakers, writers, poets, they know that it's okay to speak their language because I was told in school to speak proper and um, I did a degree in Scots song and I just hope that the next generation feels like they can sing and speak in their language and, and not have that um, stigmatization. So hopefully uh, with the next song, um, we can also make sure that our kids are happy with Scots because some kids, I was a bit of a geek at school and I loved folk music, same with these guys, I presume. Uh, but not all kids like folk music, granted. We all love Scots folk music, that's why we're here, right? But not all kids like it. So I decided that I would write the cheesiest folk pop song in Scots in order to appeal to the young kids. And I think I succeeded.
Thank you so much. We just have one more song, and I'd like to say a muckle thanks to Showcase, Showcase Scotland, to Jimmy Troop and Abdi on sounds and lights and recording this, and to Inner Ear and Trad TV, and of course to you all for coming hour and investing your time in our music. We are so, so appreciative. And a huge thanks to the loons on stage, Rory Matheson and Graeme Rory. Please do keep in touch. I'll be out for a wee blether. Um, this last song was written by the Bard of Dundee, Michael Mara, and it's called Take Me Out Drinking Tonight. Thank you so much. Graeme Rory, Rory Matheson. <laughs>